One of the most exciting new features of pixel streaming is editor streaming. As the name implies, this allows you to stream the Unreal Engine directly in browser. What this means is this allows a whole new range of different development options, from changing the pipeline by streaming the editor to people who don't have the hardware to run the editor locally, to new means of collaboration and sharing. This is a fantastic new feature and really opens up and expands what's possible with the editor. All right, let's jump straight in and show the editor streaming in action. So if we open our pixel streaming toolbar and click stream full editor, we'll start with the full editor for now as this is a better demonstration of what happens. Note, we did not click launch internal signaling server. This automatically launches one if you don't have remote signaling server enabled. Now that that's started, if we go down to the output log, we can see that a signaling server has started and a streamer is connected. All we need to do now is go to our browser, enter our usual 127.0.0.1, and click to start. You can now see that we have full control of the editor. We'll close the output log and have a look. So, this allows you full control from manipulating objects in scene, using pop up menus, and everything else you would generally use in the editor. This is just a quick local setup. We'll cover cloud deployment of the editor later. In the meantime, let's move over and look at streaming level editor. First things first, let's go back to our editor, open up the pixel streaming toolbar, and stop streaming. Note, this does keep the signaling server running, but we'll just click stream level editor. With that done, we can head back to our browser. We'll refresh the page to make sure it's up to date, click to start again, and now you can see here that we only have the viewport view. This means you still have control of objects and items in scene, but you don't get all of the menu pop-ups. There's a bit of a difference with this, as this means users can't do full development, but you can demonstrate and show, and people can collaborate on scene. It's an interesting feature, and there's many uses for this. Similar to full editor streaming, we'll cover going over this and deploying it to the cloud later. To ensure that you have all of the information you need, I'll link the official editor streaming docs page in the description below. This provides a variety of information regarding editor streaming, though we will cover a lot of this when it comes to editor streaming in the cloud later. In the meantime, let's move on to some other pixel streaming features. Next, we're going to cover freeze frame. 